You ever seen a very, very attractive man with a with a facially challenged woman? And uh, a lot of women or even guys might say, you know, why is that guy with that woman? And you know they're together because his arm around her or they're holding hands. But you're asking yourself, why is he with her when he can be with a girl that look like Beyonce, Monica, Alicia Keys, uh, the girl that played in Wakanda. You know, you... He could be with a real attractive woman. And, you know, attraction is relative, but what this society call attractive. And you say, why is this guy with her? It's because he was tired of bull and he was going after personality. So a lot of times when when you see an attractive person dealing with an un what this society will call an unattractive person, it's not that they just want sex or they're trying to use the person all the time. They might think the person have a better personality. And this can go for you. A person may can get somebody that look better than you, but they think that you may have a better personality. You may not have a good personality. You may be evil. You may be selfish. You may be fake. You may be superficial. But they think they might have picked up something that may have gave off a possibility that you may have a good personality or you may be genuine. So they may give you a try. But you may be thinking, if this person coming at me, they must can't get nobody because you think you you think you are ugly. You are insecure about how you are, so you don't you think you don't deserve an attractive person. So you think like I don't why you want me? So you end up wanting somebody that don't want you because you think that they're better than you or you think that they're being real because they acting like they don't want you. It don't always work that way. And that's how you miss out on good people. It's not that he or she can't do better than you. They can get somebody to look better than you, act better than you, nicer than you, everything. But they just happen to cross your path and say, you may be all right, your personality-wise. Of course, they may, have, they may have some twinkles of attraction for you. It may not be a, a real high physical attraction off the break, but they might think that you may... You may, it's a possibility that you may, your personality may hold some weight. But that's not always the case. In this world, people take advantage or take for granted of people that can, people can't handle a good thing. And they let good things and good people, good women, good men slip right through their hands. They let good things slip through their hands. Good things have expiration dates on them. And also, they get snatched. You leave something valuable and turn your head, it might get stolen. So if you're dealing with somebody now that love you, that's showing you attention, that's, that's there for you when you're sick, that's trying to help you get some money, that's praying on their knees with you, you might want to pay attention to them. You might want to pay attention to them because they might have you, and those are signs that they have you in their best interest. But if you're dealing with somebody that you got to keep running after, why that person ain't texting me, they text you one, once a day, Believe me, it's somebody out there that they texting more than once a day. They running after somebody. If they ain't running after you, they running after somebody. We keep our cell phones in our hand. Everybody know that. We keep our cell phones in our hand all the time. I'm a busy man, but I'm never too busy to text. So don't all that, I was busy and this and that, that's, that's bullshit. A woman, if she interested in you, she'll be on a mountain with no Wi-Fi. She'll find a way to get Wi-Fi just to text a dude that she after or running after or thinks she like. She'll put two rocks together and put a piece of metal in that joint and get Wi-Fi to thin air just to just to text that that ashy ass nigga that she thought that she, you know, running after because she think he had at the time. So you gotta be careful. Make sure you run after the right people. Make sure the person run after you. Y'all shouldn't have to run after nobody. It should already be there waiting for you and available for you. Okay? I'm Alan Williams, the Millionaire. If you have any questions, um, send me an inbox. I get a lot, a lot of inboxes. But send me a message. If you have any questions, you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, I'd like to give a shout-out to Brianna. I'd like to give a shout-out to Ashley. I'd like to give a shout-out to Michael. I'd like to give a shout-out to Rashad. I'd like to give a shout-out to... Uh, to uh, Devin, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Adrian. I'd like to give a shout out to Aaliyah. So if you want me to give you a shout out, inbox me. I'll give you a shout out. Much love to you and all the rest of my fans. Until next time, remember Jesus loves you. I do too. Here come the next video.
Alan Williams, the real unit.